Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to flush a peripheral IV. Before performing any nursing skills, you want to make sure that you're following your hospital's protocols to ensure you're following the latest guidelines. To flush the IV, first what you want to do is you want to gather your supplies and perform hand hygiene. So the supplies you'll need to flush will be a saline flush, pre-filled one. You'll need um, a Kuros cap if that's available and you'll need an alcohol swab if you're not using the Kuros caps. And you'll want to don gloves. So one of the main purposes of flushing an IV is to help keep this line patent because this cannula is setting in you know, blood and a clot can form. So we wanna prevent that from happening. Also, you know, we flush an IV whenever we are about to give a medication and after giving a medication, um, in between infusions. And most hospitals generally have a protocol where you flush them every 12 hours, so like every shift. But you always wanna check your facility's protocol and how they want you to flush this. And um, you may hear this referred to as a saline lock. All it is is it's saline setting in this line, hence it's lock the line. So um, we don't have blood there to have a clot form, so then you would lose your line. And you typically, depending on your facility, are going to flush this line with anywhere between three to five cc's of normal saline. And you're going to use a push-pause technique while you flush. This just helps give it turbulence and clear that line out. Now, one thing that I want to point out is you want to be familiar with what kind of supplies your patient has especially the cap, because there's different types of caps which dictate how you clamp, like the whole clamping sequence with flushing and clamping and disconnecting. So this particular one that I'm using is by Baxter, it's the one link. It's a neutral displacement fluid cap. So per the manufacturer's um, recommendations, there's no clamping sequence. But let's say that you're using a positive pressure cap. With that, you, whenever you go to flush, what you would want to do is you flush, then you disconnect your syringe from the cap, and then you clamp. But let's say you were using a negative pressure cap. With that, you would flush, then you would clamp, and then you would disconnect. So always just be familiar with your supplies. So to flush the IV, first what you wanna do is you just wanna look at the site. Make sure it looks good, there's no redness. Uh, ask the patient is, if it's painful, if it's painful, that's not a good thing. Um, do you see any like foul drainage or is there any swelling? And make sure the dressing's nice and clean and intact. And then what you can do is you can prep your flush. So go ahead, open up your flush. And with these pre-filled syringes, you have to get the air bubble out. So prime your flush, you're going to twist this off, get the air out. So what you wanna do first is if you are using the Kuros cap, you um, just make sure that it's been on for one minute for it to be able to disinfect the site. So what you can do is just twist that off and um, throw it away. And um, then you can just connect with your syringe. If that wasn't the case, let's say that this cap was not there. What we would do is you would open up your alcohol swab, and you would take it and you would go around on the hub. We're gonna like literally cover the whole thing and we're getting on the threads and everything. And we're going to twist and we're going to clean very rigorously for about 15 to 30 seconds and just twist and clean. And it's very important you do this because any germs or bacteria that's on this can easily be flushed into the patient system. So take your time to do that. Once you have done that, let that completely dry. And then I'm going to twist onto the cap like this. And then you want to unclamp the site because if you go to flush it, then you won't be able to because you'll meet resistance. And you just want to quickly just check for blood return. And we got blood return, as you can see. And we're gonna flush in about three to five mLs. That depends on your facility. And we're gonna do a push-pause technique as we flush. So one to two cc's, pause, one to two cc's. And that just creates turbulence in there to help flush that line out. And it's not swelling up or anything. You feeling any pain? No. 
Okay, and we flushed in what we need because we're using a neutral cap. We don't have any clamping sequence, so I'm going to clamp. And then I'm going to remove, discard that per my facility's protocol. And I'm going to put on a fresh Kuros cap just to protect the site. And then I'm going to doff my gloves, perform hand hygiene, and document. Okay, so that wraps up this video. And if you'd like to watch more videos on nursing skills, you can access the link in the YouTube description below.